World War II saw many different types of tanks, some of them incredibly strange looking. The Praying Mantis was an experimental machine gun carrier designed by the British Army during the Second World War. It was certainly one of the strangest armoured vehicle designs ever produced. The design was patterned in 1937, however construction of prototypes wouldn't begin until 1943, well into the Second World War. The Praying Mantis was effectively designed to shoot over walls and other obstacles while staying as concealed as possible. The first prototype was designed on four road wheels on a small chassis, however the second and final prototype was commissioned in 1943 and was based on the engine and running gear of the Universal Carrier. The makeup of the tank was unlike any other armoured fighting vehicle. It consisted of a lower hull in which can be found the engine, a crew compartment, a pivoting head and finally a small machine gun armed turret known as the helmet. The crew compartment, known as the control chamber, took the form of a long hollow box. Inside would be the positions for the vehicle's two crew members, the driver and the gunner. Both of these would be effectively laying down prone inside the box with their heads towards the machine gun turret. At the crew's feet was a hydraulic system that would raise the entire compartment. The maximum elevation of the Pram Mantis was about 11.5 feet or 3.5 metres off the ground. This would bring the head, which could pivot up and down, above any obstacle, allowing the gunner to engage any targets. The vehicle could move around with the crew chamber in any position. When fully lowered, the Mantis could move around behind low bushes or even tall grass while staying concealed. The gunner was in charge of the vehicle's main armament, a pair of Bren light machine guns mounted side by side in the rotating helmet. The prototype took part in a number of trials, but that's as far as it would go. In operation, it was found that the controls were extremely hard to use. The effect on the crew was also not ideal, as many recounted the swaying of the moving vehicle gave them motion sickness. A year after the prototype was first produced, it was officially abandoned. Although this could be put down as a failure, it's yet another example of the out-of-the-box thinking needed by designers and engineers during World War II. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos.